There are quite a few odd recording formats around, there's no doubt about it. And today I'm going to look at one that I wasn't familiar with. This is the Microsonics Microphonograph. It plays what the company calls sound cards. Inside this box is the Series 300. I also have a non-working 301 that we'll look at. And look at some of the uh, things here. It's in various different languages. Let's open it up. Machine. here and the warranty and here's the instructions various different languages pretty minimal really points out the parts of the machine the stylus the plate you pause your screen and read those if you're so inclined Very minimal English, but there really isn't too much here to do other than to stick what they call a sound card in and play it. Examining the machine, we have a speaker here, Microsonics, play button, stop and eject, and a pause button, volume control, uh, external jack, and a power jack. Underneath, you can see we have a spot for two AA batteries, and in here is our mechanism. playing. We'll take a look at that when we play. This is important. That's our centering pin. It centers the sound card in the device. And here's our stylus. We'll see that in motion. A very important part right now for me is to put this adapter plate on. This is how you play the sound cards that I have. There are other things you can do with this, I think. Um, we have a sort of a bayonet attachment here. It snaps down and we get it like that. And here's what it plays. These sound plates, as they call them. You can see the recording there in the grooves. Each one of these, I've played quite a few of them, each one of these seems to be about 55 seconds long, somewhere in there. I have lots of packets of bird calls. I see um, on the internet that they have some historical things and uh, things like that, um, sports. This is from the Living Sound Society. You can apparently subscribe and get all kinds of packets of cards. I apparently have some Audible Audubon cards. But there's lots of things you can get. 
great moments in history, golden treasury of civilization, Oops. personal happiness, there's our price list, let's see you can get earphones, replacement stylus, AC adapter, and this card adapter which I need to play these cards I have. Uh, there's some of the prices for these things. So there's a lot available. I mentioned I had two of these. Um, this is the 301. Yeah, I have another one, the 301. It does not work. I've had it for a long time. But we can open this one and take a look inside. The other one works so well that I'm not going to risk opening it. Um, if you press down like play here, it's going to activate this one. Stop. Activates that. So you can kind of see how these things work um, when the buttons are pressing them. speaker. There is uh, capacitors, diodes. So the difference between the 301 and the 300 that works, the 300 has a uh, pause button here which the 301 does not have. And I've seen on the internet there are several different models of this too other than the 300 and 301. But the 300 and these two series here require a uh, adapter card to play these plates. The uh, bottom of the machine has some slots where you can slit, uh, slip a uh, card adapter on bayonet mount style. Let me get that right. Without the card adapter, um, what you would do, there are, apparently were, some of these little record cards in books and magazines. So you could take that card adapter off and then scroll your little machine over these things in magazines or books to play them. So if you're going to use a card adapter and some sound cards, sound plates, we slide it in there and there's our sound plate there. If you press that to open it up, done. Stop and eject. Let's find something else to listen to. Let's try the bald eagle. Check our pause. It works. The adult bald eagle has a white. 
white head and tail with a dark body. The immature bird is blackish brown. When soaring, this bird holds its broad wings flat. The call is a squealing, cackling sound, kick a kick or cack a cack almost a stuttering rhythm, although a typical sound heard away from the nest is a single cat. Eject. All right, looking at some of the other ones I have, these are my series that I have. Looks like these were the most popular thing for these machines, the bird calls. Although I do see on the eBay sports things and um, some other things, mostly sports, but like individual cards, Joe DiMaggio and Babe Ruth and things. And they're expensive, expensive. I, and if they're also about 55 seconds long, I'm not sure that I would ever want to put that amount of money into these. Uh, maybe. I don't know. All right, let's do one more uh, as we end the video here. I haven't listened to these yet. How about a yellow warbler? It's not in there good enough. That's in there good enough yet either. There, that's good enough. All right. The yellow warbler. Okay, well, that's been it for the Microsonics micro phonograph from, I think, 1979, uh, the Series 300 working and the 301 not working. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.